So if you're a big fan of astrology like me, then you might be freaking out at the fact that there is now a new star sign that's been discovered, and as a result, everyone's horoscope is changing. Hey, what's up, IRs? It's Mackenzie here, and today on the channel, I'm gonna be filling you in on the latest to do with the new star sign, Ophicus. So former Scorpios born between the 29th of November and the 17th of December are now this new sign. But I initially thought that this was the only group of people that were changing. But no, it's actually everyone. And I'm freaking out because I am a very proud Virgo and they're trying to say I'm now a Leo? Like the audacity? But although I'm saying that Ophicus, known as the serpent bearer is new, it actually isn't. The fact is that the ancient Greeks discovered it thousands of years ago. But decided to only include the 12 signs we knew of because it fit better with the 12 months of the year. And the fact is that there's actually as many as 21 signs. They're just smaller, so only the 12 most prominent were included when they made the original astrological charts. This means that for years, signs like Ophicus have been ignored by astrologers in favor of the 12 dominant signs. And the fact is that this sign being talked about isn't even really new either, with it being discussed in 2011 and 2016. And if you're wondering what the traits of these people will be, they will get their traits from both Scorpio and Sagittarius, with the most prominent being that people in this sign hate routines and are always keen to try something new. And they're constantly searching for new knowledge and are known to be one of the most intellectual signs. As well, they're ethical and have a clear sense of justice, as well as having a big imagination with tons of creativity. And for the negative traits, they are impulsive, jealous, prideful, sarcastic, and love to procrastinate. But personally, I wouldn't label sarcastic as a negative. Maybe that's just because I'm very sarcastic, but like, that's not a negative trait, right? Let me know below. I feel like it's not. And since we love talking about celebrities on the channel, Britney Spears, Taylor Swift, Chrissy Teigen, Jay-Z, and Jamie Foxx are all now a part of this new sign. So please let me know your thoughts on all of this. Has your sign been changed? And if it has been, are you freaking out? <laughs> Honestly, I am because I always thought I was a very clear cut Virgo, but now looking at the traits, I can see how I could also be a Leo. I don't know if that means that I really am a Leo or if this is all just like BS that I'm making up in my head and all these traits are just, you know what I mean? Like I just think I am these traits. But either way, I am very distressed <laughs> by all this. Okay, but before I head out, I'm gonna shout out some comments from my Cardi B getting called out video. So Karma Kai said, Cardi B has a sister named Hennessy. Are her parents vodka and rum? <laughs> also, I love Io and all the hosts. Y'all make my day. Okay, honestly, dead at that comment but I think Hennessy is probably just some sort of nickname or stage name because I know Cardi B, you know, isn't Cardi's actual name and her name is actually like Belle Callis or something like that. I probably didn't say that right, but it's a, uh, yeah, it's not actually Cardi B. <laughs> also, thank you so much for that love. We love you back. Then Tamdisa said, I swear Netflix should make a movie about 2020. Girl, trust me, that is in the works as we speak because this year we're like seven, eight months in and just a disaster. Like I, I, I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> then Joe said, if you didn't know slash didn't mean it, as a slur, it's still good to apologize and not get defensive. I love her music and style, but that's not okay. Agreed, like based on a lot of the comments actually in this video, I was shocked that um, more people didn't know that it actually was a slur. So we really do have to aim to educate and we can't just assume that people like always know this kind of stuff. Um, but she definitely shouldn't have gotten so like mad and defensive about it in her response there because I think that is kind of what rubbed people the wrong way, not really what she actually said. Okay, everyone, that's all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way here, I really appreciate it. And be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram to be kept up to date with all the news and tea you will ever need to know. And I will see you all in the next one.